Howdy folks, how are you guys doing today? Happy Thursday. Alright, so this will be our last Thursday here on Twitch for the class. I will talk a little bit about DOM. So if you've taken the HTML class or JavaScript class before, none of this will be new. Um, we'll look at some brief AJAX and how we can use it to interact with our application and how we can um, serve responses. Uh, and we'll just mention some frameworks. Uh, all the frameworks have good tutorials for getting started here. So once you know the basics here, then the frameworks just make everything a little faster for you. So there's a couple good frameworks, whether or not you're working in Java or PHP. Hey, Airplay, thanks for coming along. Uh, and then next week, again, we'll meet on Zoom. I'll post that link, and then you folks will get a chance to show off your final projects. Uh, so if you're getting stuck in anything, let me know. Had a couple meetings today with some, some teams and individuals. Um, so, so far, it seems like the progress is going pretty well, and we should be in pretty good shape. So let me go and fire up XAMPP here to get our MySQL server up and running, which occasionally gets really weird. So if you have trouble, let me know. Um, but generally exporting out your database when you make changes to it is going to be good, uh, especially if we're working in a team because you need those to be in sync. Uh, but just a good good habit to get into when you're working as an individual. So if you start up um, the Apache server, we can get to the PHP MyAdmin here. Pick the right port number here. Sorry about that. You go to your database and then you can export it. So I did this for the Twitter database. Um, so that's out in our GitHub repository. Not 2151. Sorry, that's the wrong... 454. Here we go. So in the Twitter start project, I put out the Twitter winter 2022 SQL. So if you make the database, you can run this then to go and create all the tables. And it even has some of the initial uh, data as well, which is fun. So as you're working, you can go and export it if you want to, to make it quick for you or a partner to rebuild it if you need to. All right, so I've got that, got the database up. Let me, I got NetBeans up and running here. So Let's go and see. Uh, I want to go and actually just make a new page here for this. So I'm going to go and just make a new JSP here. So this is going to be our Ajax examples. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put some embedded JavaScript. And it doesn't have to be embedded, but it's just going to work easy for us to do it in here this way into this page. So I'm actually copying off of the uh, last time I did this because it makes life easy. And where do we get this one here now? Find it again. There it is. So all we want to do in the main page here, uh, I'm going to add a little form and a button. So we'll say, hey, let's go get some images from the database here. So if you give me the username, I'll go look up their image here, and then we're going to add a button here that uses a JavaScript method. Now again, I, I know JavaScript wasn't a prereq, um, which is, again, a little bit weird, but that's okay. I'm going to try and avoid full prereqs if um, most of it we can just copy-paste. And then I've got this fantastic example that I will also plug here. We're going to put a script in. So we're going to put that... Uh, let's see, let's put that in here. We'll add a little JavaScript section here. So this is where I got this one from. Um, so what it's going to do is it's going to go and get, so the document here is what we, uh, when we're talking about the DOM, the document object model. So you can get at anything in a website or web page by its document. So we're saying, hey, give me the thing that has the element ID of username. So the ID here is username, so it will get me the value of this field. So we're getting out this username text box, we'll get the value of it here. And then we're going to grab this URL, we're going to send it to Twitter start, get image, and then we're going to add in our own query string here for the username, and add in that value here. Probably image ID is probably a little bit funny here. Um, probably this, this was a username, right? Probably a little easier. Username. So we'll append in the username, whatever we get out of that field here. So like our original profile page, it was saying, hey, if there's a username, let's go and get it from here, from the get image servlet. So we can get the image here of that particular username. And then this console is used in JavaScript. We're just logging here 
what we're going to be sending the request out to. This is just for us to show what's happening. And it's going to start up a new request here. And we're going to send out this info. And we expect to get back blob data. We're going to use a get request sent to this URL here that we're going to send it to. And we're going to send the request. Okay, so that's what loading Ajax does for us here. Then this send info, right, when the ready state changes. So what's happening here is once we get something happening, then, right, when this state is changing here, 4 is telling me that it's complete here. So it's like, okay, once that ready state is complete, I know I have a result back. I can, now I want to get the element called results. We added in a little result. Oh, we didn't add in the result section yet. Let's go add that one in here. So we can add a little section here for a result. So we give it by ID. So we always want to reference things by ID. So we'll go get the result section here. We'll make a new image, creating an image element. We're going to set the length and width just to, to size them up here and make this a little bit cleaner for us here. And then the source of that image, right? So before when we were coding out our um, profile here, we said, hey, this is the source here. Is this response. So the source will be whatever we get back from that response. So say, okay, let's take our request here and we're getting this response back out. So this is the request we sent here. We know that it's ready. So I wasn't going to show that 29. I showed and demonstrated how you could do images for profile pictures and the, the task for, then for you is to go and make that work with your tweets. Right? And then what we do, we're going to take this result here, that little paragraph we started here, and we're going to append a child to it and append, append that image. So we don't need to reload. So the, the, the thing with Ajax here is it's asynchronous JavaScript. So your JavaScript code, which runs on the client side, goes out and sends a request. And whenever it finishes, whenever that happens to be, then it'll go and do something. So it's an asynchronous nature. So it's not sending an entire page out. We're getting all the HTML back. We're just getting this particular response back here from this. So let's see if we can get this to work here. So this is images with Ajax. Now, I don't think we actually had a lot of images out there, right? We just had, I think, two users. I think I had Eric and Tess. We'll, we'll take a look and see. So let's see if we can start this up here. And again, this is just a straight page here. There's nothing super interesting um, happening. So we're just going to go navigate right to it. We don't need to serve it through a servlet or anything. We'll see if we can get that to run. Okay, so we'll go to our Twitter page. It wants us to log in. We don't actually need to log in right now, but let's see if we can get logged in. I want to see what other users are out here. So we got test and test. So we have test and we have Eric. Right, for our different... Um, accounts here. And they should, I think both of them had images, right? So if we go to, was it uh, slash profile? We never, we never even finished the navigation here, but that's okay. Profile. Okay, so test has a profile image. Great, we've got that one. And, uh, you know, let me change this one here. So I think I've got, um, hmm, let me do this, let me go find a good one here. Let's see, I think we've got a couple here. I'm trying to find my Twitch uh, images here. Do we have some images? Maybe we can do that one. Okay, cool. So test, we'll have this old, my old blue matrix one here. Um, and then we'll go back to log in here. And we'll log in as Eric and test. Make sure that that profile is different. Oh, we have to upload one. Okay, so we go upload a profile picture here. So I thought I had a bunch in Twitch stuff here. Where did I put them? I probably put them somewhere else. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. We'll do the coffee one here. All right, so now Eric has the coffee, right? And the other user has the blue matrix. So then if we go to our, what, is it? what do we call this one here? Ajax examples JSP. Ajax examples JSP. We get images from database. And if we look at the page source here, we see we've got this paragraph here, the result is ID. 
right? And we should be able to put in a username here of Eric. And when we fetch now, it sends out that request. And now my paragraph has a new image. Now let's do test here. We'll fetch. And now we have this one, another image. So we're just appending here right now. We don't necessarily, you don't have to append. Uh, I just wanted to show you, you can like load up as many of these as you want here, which is fun. And then what you'll see here in the network tab, every time we send a request across, we should see that new request go. That's the console. This is we're logging the URL here. Aren't we? Talk record. Record network. Why is it not recording our network? Serve the log. Come on. Clear it out. Oh, is it just super small? Is that what that is? I wanted to see it. I don't see the request there. Why can't I can I grab that? Shouldn't be able to see it here. That's super weird. I'll show you the request. Why is it not showing it? No. It should be showing us the request. I'm not sure why it's not at the moment. That's super weird. Oh, I had a filter on there. That's what it was. Okay. So we can see here's the request then as we send these out here. And we see the images. Is that doing it for us now? Okay, let me reload, reload the page. Now it's showing them all, of course. That's crazy. Okay, let's clear it one more time. Put it in Eric. Fetch. There we go. And now we see a call to get image here. So we got the image result, and then it's actually storing it kind of behind the scenes here with this local stuff. We don't really care too much about that. We can see our request here sent the to get image, and here's the username. Uh, where'd it go? Yep, to get get image and username as of Eric. And we do test again, and we'll see another one, and you can see the results that came back. So we're just getting that image back here. So if you wanted to, we could do all this Ajax stuff. None of this is required for the final project because this is the very last week and I don't want to show you new things and say, hey, okay, now go do it. You've got a week to get it done. Uh, so we saved this one for last. But what, that's allowed, what that allows you to do, notice the entire page didn't have to reload. So it only loads part of it here. And that's one of those things like the endless scrolling is an Ajax request. As you're scrolling through, right, and you get near the bottom, it says, oh, let me go get some more data and, go and goes and adds more values here. So if we go to, to Twitter, nope, not Twitch, Twitter here, and let me clear this out real quick. We'll see it loads a bunch of stuff here. Sure, that's all fine, well and good. Whole ton of things. Little that finished loading. Wow, that is a lot of stuff, Twitter. Holy cow. All right, now let me clear it one more time. Now as I start scrolling down, You'll see, oh, hey, it's getting more events. It's, it's grabbing more things. More stuff is happening. Right, just because I'm scrolling down, and notice my scroll bar here, if I scroll away down to the bottom real quick, it's loading, and now the scroll bar is up in the middle. It's added more events here to the DOM. More stuff here in Twitter. here, So that I can just keep on scrolling and keep on scrolling and keep on scrolling here. There's no, like, click here for next page sort of thing that has to happen. Which is a nice way to go about it here, right? That's a, a good user experience. Okay. Is that Scott Hanselman? Yes. He's awesome. He's a good guy. If you're not following him, you should go follow Scott Hanselman. It's a former professor, works at Microsoft, heads up one of their... I don't know, which, which group is he? I forget. Developer division. Yeah, sure. I don't know exactly what he, he, he works on specifically. Uh, but he's great. And again, their endless scrolling will be all sorts of, of cool pages. So you can see that stuff happening. So we want to know how Ajax works. Yeah, so for, for our project, we're just going to load every single tweet because you probably don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of tweets, right? If Twitter actually did that and you went to somebody's page who has literally tens of thousands of tweets because you know, Twitter's got years and years and years of history, it would be really slow to load. 
for, for our purposes, we're just saying, no, forget it. Let's just load everything because you probably only have like 10 tweets in the entire database. Not a big deal there. Yeah, <laughs> and your poor phone. Yeah, so um, again, ours is a, you know, the first draft iteration of cloning Twitter. Obviously, you'd want different changes. And then they have all sorts of really cool stuff because they are this global scale organization. But ours is, you know, what would it take to get the basic functionality up and running here? Okay. So not too much actually has to happen because th this works out nice because our image servlet only serves images. Right. It kind of, we can kind of take advantage of that and say, okay, give me just the image result. Give me just the image result. If it was doing a different thing, and that's one of the reasons that I built it like this, uh, because then it makes it a little easier for us to get images specifically then. Right? We can just go load them off of that servlet one at a time. I can get an image, get an image, get an, get an image, that sort of thing. And the same sort of thing would work in PHP land if we did images in PHP. The, the same JavaScript, you just send it in to whatever is giving back that image, and it just works, which is really cool. There's not a whole lot of changes you have to do in PHP land to in the the server side, right? It'd be a PHP controller, not our servlet, but it would essentially do the same thing, and you can just return that blob data, which is fun. So if you're having any issues with images in PHP, let me know. I've got some examples. Um, I didn't want to go through them. They take a little while to go modify, um, and we didn't really have a lot of images in our store. I guess we could have added images to products, but um, it's probably nothing we want to tackle at the moment, uh, but we could do that later if you want to see some examples. Um, yeah, and again, ideally, this, you know, if we were meeting in person, now you'd have a chance to work with your partner where you're both sitting down, but we've got some decent screen sharing tools. Discord's pretty good, um, or other sorts of things. So if you're working individually, great. We've got the rest of the tonight to polish up anything we need to on that final project here. Um, let me go and grab that one here again so we can take a look at the rubric one more time. And I'm so sorry about these assignments. I'll be get, doing these this weekend. Um, if you gave me a self-assessment, you'll probably just get that score unless I find that you gave yourself more points than you should have. But most people are really good with their self-assessments. So I'll be getting all, all, the, all those in for you shortly. So sorry for the delay. It's been, it's been rough, but... All right, so account creation and login, we're essentially done. If you've copied over from the example here we've been doing in class, we should be able to create accounts and get logged in. Great, like that's already a quarter of the way done. Right? Then we need to start, okay, listing out the tweets of those we follow, including that like account. Can individually, can view individual users' tweets and follow and unfollow the user. So that's like that user's page, right? This kind of idea you could go to, hey, slash username, or hey, I want to give you a username of something and tell me what, user I want to find. Now, again, username is probably going to be a little bit funny because we're using username as our login property here. So um, maybe you want to come up with something else. I don't know anything you want there. But then from there, we can follow them. Right? And then they'll show up now on our homepage then for our page when we log in should give us the list of everyone that we follow their tweets. And then we should be able to make tweets, including images here. So the images is only about half of this making the tweets part here. So five points for being able to do regular tweets with text, five more points for images. So if you can't get the images done, it's only a small portion of the overall final bit here. Uh, you can still get an A in the class if you don't have that. Not, not going to be the worst part there. Um, and then for grades, I, I think I set it up right. If, if you don't see it, let me know. It should drop your lowest quiz score. Um, and if you're missing any labs, um, I can still take those from you. If uh, you can get them in, um, but I'll be going in, entering, making sure all the grades are up to date um, tonight while you folks are working on the project. So I'll start making sure all that stuff is up to date so you've got a, an idea of where you're landing. But hopefully it's not a big surprise there um, as, as you did those self-assessments when you did the project. So that's what I keep telling myself as I feel bad about not having them scored for you. So in the next week we'll meet on Zoom. I'll send out my Zoom link. We'll all meet up. You can present your projects. I can score them right then and there. So I'll pull up your code. Make sure it's on GitHub so I can look at the code while you're presenting. You'll go through, you'll show me you can do all these things. You can make an account, you can follow people, you can post a tweet with images, those sorts of things. You can get the points there. I'll look at your code. We'll call it a good night. Okay? Any other questions, thoughts, or concerns? Hopefully it's going pretty well and you're in good shape to have this done in another week. Uh, that's, again, why we started early. Uh, there's definitely a lot to it. You know, a lot of different pieces here. We've got a start to it here with some of this here. It's not completely done, though, so you can go in and and work on it from there, right? It's just a single tweet, that sort of thing. 
um, go ahead and start adding those to the database and go from there, okay? All right, cool. So I don't have anything else for you, so we got the rest of the time to work, and I'll start working on some of these grades for you, make sure everything's up to date, and we can go from there, okay? All right, folks, feel free to uh, reach out, let me know. Um, you don't have to wait for a specific time to send me questions, but if I'm not at my desk or doing office hours, I might not be able to respond right away, but I'll do what I can to meet with you, um, make sure we can get this uh, out the door. So, so it's always great when final presentations, everyone gets 100%. That's, that makes for a great night, so... All right, I'll go ahead and commit the Ajax stuff to here. Yeah, thanks so much. Oh, I, I wanted to show you some of those um, examples real quick. So there's this Laravel. Uh, Bell, is that how I spell it? I can never remember how you spell this one. Excuse me. Yeah, Laravel. So PHP framework. This one is fantastic. Um, makes life pretty easy for a lot of things that you might do. They're getting started. Actually, gets you up and running real quick here and how it works. Um, you can do your first project, these sorts of things. So um, works out pretty nice. Uh, it's a pretty common one here. And then another thing in PHP, uh, it's not really a framework, but WordPress is built on. So no, no streams next week, Marv, just us meeting on Zoom. So you can use this composer to create things. Um, works out real fast to kind of build and scaffold up stuff. It just takes a, a little bit of uh, going through. So um, Laravel is a real common one. And then for JSP, you want uh, Java Spring. I think it's Spring Boot is our, yep, our good framework here. This one has a really good getting started as well. So you can make quick applications here. So a, a quick start guide, making stuff with Spring Boot. And add some code here. And then you're up and running. So this will do um, like you can map parameters real quick here. It's, it's pretty fun uh, the way Spring Boot works. So you can just set up your applications, and then you're off up and running with the Hello World pretty quick. So these are some common ones. Um, and so we don't we, we want to teach the basics and figure once you know how the stuff works, you can pick up the framework after rather than teaching the the fun frameworks. So you'll see it does some really uh, easy stuff here, um, built built in really nice. So we got those you can look at uh, at your leisure. All right, folks, I'll go ahead and end the stream here, and uh, let me know if you get stuck on anything. Happy to get you pointing in the right direction and up and running. Okay, take care, everyone.